welcome to sentence two. So you've done a brilliant job of taking us back in time with your uh, your sentence, your start of the start of the speech. Okay, you've you've hooked us in brilliantly. Now your second sentence will need to develop the point that you have made in sentence one. Okay, and it should answer the following question. So here is your objective for sentence two. I want you to answer why is space or technology, so Dr. Drax's phones, important to you? Okay. This is so you like I say you you created the hook by saying you know when you were young you've always dreamed about going to space you still remember what it was like to hold a Drax phone okay but now you need to expand that and explain why it's important to you so how are we going to do that so here are some examples to get you thinking it opens up the world it opens up a world of possibilities it inspires you to explore and get out there okay it excites you gives you hope for the future, okay? Space travel gives you hope for the future. Technology makes you believe that anything is possible, okay? And it could be as simple as, it just makes you happy. Having a Drax phone and having all the amazing features on a Drax phone might just make you happy. The idea that the universe is huge and massive and there's so many things we don't know, it might inspire you and it might make you, it might make you excited to know what is out there, okay? And it kind of, it, it's, it's up to you what you think, but I want you to try and explain why it's important, okay? So you, you've, you've hooked us in, you've given us a, your beautiful subordinate clause, which you know takes us right back to when you were a child, makes us go, oh, now you need to ex expand and tell us why it's important to you, okay? Good luck.